we support United for Wildlife by acting as a conduit for the two-way flow of information between the frontline and the UFW task forces. Nick, Wim and Eva will later on cover the collaborative ongoing efforts needed to fulfill the UFW vision in our region and to eradicate the illegal wildlife trade, which has now become the world's third largest criminal activity. But now it's time to go directly to the front line where we have Keith Sparks and the Take Action Trust who will give us a little insight into some of the high action challenges they face on a daily basis. Hi everyone, Keith here from Take Action Trust in Zimbabwe. Sourcing, breeding and training canines that can endure and excel in the toughest of conditions is what we do right here in Zimbabwe. Real world handler training in the environment where the dogs will be working is essential and our knowledge of local customs, traditions and attitudes enable us to get the most out of the teams ensuring that we get effective units operating in our struggling wildlife areas. The training of the dogs starts at a very early age and they are exposed to as many positive situations as possible, at the same time building up their drive to work and their confidence. Every outing is a training opportunity and requires a huge amount of time and effort to ensure that we can expose them to as many sights, noises, smells and environments as possible in these early days. These foundation stages are the most important and are truly enjoyable. As the canines progress, their strengths are assessed and that is the direction where they will be channeled. Whether it is tracking, detection or apprehension, the daily training continues for up to two years in order to get them exposed to as many real world scenarios, the type of which they may encounter during the operations. Working closely with anti-poaching units around the country, we keep abreast of tactics used by poachers and integrate them into our training to ensure that they become part of the canine skill set. By doing our handler training in country, we are able to integrate the canine teams into the existing anti-poaching units so that all members can recognize the full benefit of having canines as part of the team. It also gives the Take Action team the opportunity to get into the wildlife areas to assist with their own reaction team to help value add the existing units. Snare sweeps, ambushes and animal rescues are all part of the job and something that canines and handlers need to be exposed to. Our aim as an organization is to be able to get as many boots, or in our case paws, on the ground to combat poaching and wildlife crime. Our units have already made a huge difference in the areas where they are operating, having been responsible for numerous arrests of poachers. By working with like-minded organisations like the Zambezia Conservation Alliance, we hope to be able to extend our reach and be able to help more anti-poaching units around the country recognise the benefit of canines in their units.